Okay. The, the sitting posture um, is one in which you, 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 you find a great variety of opinions and in, in some uh, Buddhist schools uh, they make great emphasis on um, sitting for lotus and sitting um, in a particular way and, and everything is very um, closely defined. Whereas um, in, in Thai forest tradition that's not really the case that um, there is no clear or um, precise instructions about how you sit um, other than that you can sit um, straight and you can sit still. So basically um, whatever um, posture that you can uh, adopt given your own physical uh, size, um, illnesses you might have or uh, whatever um, those are the two principles that I think are important. You should be able to sit straight and you should be able to sit still. Now um, you can uh, put you, arrange your legs or your, your hands in any way really um, as long as you stick to those two principles. Although some uh, ways of holding the hands, particularly with the thumbs lightly touching each other, um, is helpful because um, if you lose mindfulness, as you probably will, or inevitably will, then your thumbs will fall apart. So it's a kind of early warning system that uh, your, your mindfulness is slipping. Um, but some people find it a little bit uh, tense and disturbing to, to sit like that, and it's not peaceful for them, so it doesn't matter really. Now, you want to be able to sit still um, because the stillness of the body promotes stillness of mind and particularly in the first few minutes of the meditation session make, make that a point not to move at all and overcoming that initial physical restlessness um, does help to a certain extent uh, to lay the foundations for the overcoming of mental restlessness. Um, the, 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 the straightness of the posture um, is important because although the the way that you you place your legs or your hands doesn't have an immediate effect upon your mind it's easy to see that if you're sitting um, slumped over and uh, not straight then um, sleepiness dullness very easily takes over the mind um, and indeed if you're feeling a little bit um, dull that's the first thing you look at are you sitting up straight so straightness and, and stillness, um, you don't want to be leaning against anything um, because the posture again is hopefully um, giving you a sense of self-reliance. This is another mental factor, a mental trait which you can help to promote through the way that you sit. Um, <clears throat> so uh, not when I say straight, then it's not... Um, like ramrod straight and, and so you, you don't want to be sitting in a way that you're impeding the breathing process or you're feeling tense you want that um, that balance between effort and relaxation um, that, that comes with a good posture so um, have somebody um, look at your posture uh, because sometimes you can feel that you're straight and you're sitting well but you're not so if you have a good friend you say just can you uh, when we've been meditating for a few minutes um, can you just uh, have a look and see am I straight, am I uh, tilting to one side or, or another um, because small postural um, uh, imbalances can in the long term uh, lead to aches and pains in, in, in your back and uh, can be necessarily um, obstructive so posture um, is important not to get obsessive about it or to give it you know, too, too much importance but um, looking at ways how can you sit um, in such a way that you feel stable, you feel still, um, you feel self-reliant um, and in, in a way that you can uh, maintain for 30 minutes, an hour or even more than an hour um, without um, doing any, um, any mischief to your body.